Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Steve Cal 5 JUF. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. Today, I want to go over the FT991A attenuator button. What the attenuator button does is essentially is it provides a attenuation or a reduction in your incoming signal into your radio. So if you've got an extremely uh, loud signal, or uh, not loud necessarily, but a high, high signal such as an S9 or S20 or something, 20 over S9, uh, or, for example, if you're sending CW and you've got an extremely loud uh, CW signal coming in that's just killing you, you could actually activate the attenuator in the CW and also reduce that. So that's kind of a, a dual function here is it just essentially reduces the, uh, the incoming signal um, into the amplifier so that it just doesn't overwhelm you. So you can you can use it in voice and CW. Because sometimes you can get a CW signal that's really, really strong and you need to drop it down because it's distortion and you know you can't really pick it out. And it's hurting your ears. <laughs> All right, so let's go through this here real quick. You've essentially got two buttons on the radio that you need to be familiar with. One of them is a button that does a three function purpose. And what it does here is it allows you to go from what's called the IPO, Internet uh, inter Interception Point Optimization, what they call that. This is a gain that's uh, managed by the system. It's a normal RF gain that uh, regulates the, uh, the amount of signal. You have a second function within this same switch called preamp number one. Preamp number one does the function of adding about 10 dB to the existing incoming signal, which adds about 1.6 S units. There's a second, uh, a third function on this same button called preamp two. This one here adds about 3.3 dB. So if you're using the attenuator, you always, always want to make sure that you're in the IPO mode. And now with the, in the IPO mode, you can activate the attenuator. And I'll show you. So for example, if we have a signal right now that's at S5, and I turn on the attenuator, here's what's going to happen. That signal is going to drop. So now... I've got the, uh, the IPO, which is where I want to have this one. I've got this one set to active for the attenuator, which is the second button. And now we've got about a 2 dB drop here. So we went from an S5 to an S2. So that's how that works. The next button is gain. So for example, if you're not in the IPO mode, now, of course, if you're using these buttons over here, you absolutely want to make sure the attenuator's turned off because you, you would work against yourself. So you want to make sure the attenuator's off. Now, if you're using preamp number one, that's going to give you about 1.6 S units, which roughly is going to take us to about uh, about 5 point, maybe 5.1, 5.6 or something right in there. So that's with this IPO preamp one setting turned on. That's what's going to give us this here will give us this here, about a 1.67 gain on the S5. Now, if we turn on preamp number two, now that's going to give us about 3.3 units. That'll take us up to about uh, maybe about 8.3 or something on the S unit. So that's how that works here. So what I've done is I've got uh, kind of little, little green lights here. Green lights mean no attenuation. This configuration here that you see we do have attenuation. We're in IPO and we're here. That's good. And of course, if we've got no attenuation and we've got gain, we would only activate this one here, which would go here. And then the next one would be if we turned on the next one, of course, that would also go straight to here. So that would be your gain. So that's how that works, and essentially just a real quick summary here. If you've got S7 and you turn on the uh, attenuator, that's going to give you about a 12 dB drop, which will give you from a 7 to a 5. And, of course, there's just a showing there and a quick, quick review. Turning it on, if you're at S7, you turn it on. Whoops. If you're at S7 there with it off and you turn it on, it'll drop the signal to S5. And of course, lastly, this is just a summary here. But keep in mind, the attenuator is a good tool, uh, particularly if you're doing CW or you're doing some kind of data mo mode and you need to reduce that overdrive and you're in coming into your FL Digi or something. Take advantage of the attenuator because that'll drop you about two S units. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I've got a live demo coming. Thanks for watching.
Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's Steve Cap 5 juf Hope everybody's doing okay out there. Uh, I got a video I want to do on the attenuator. I uh, had some guys asking me some questions, and it brought up a good point that I thought about. Uh, there's a couple of things on the radio that uh, are helpful for bringing in stronger signals and uh, reducing uh, too strong of signals. So the first thing I'll show you is uh, how to access uh, the attenuator. But the first thing I want to show you is where the uh, preamp 1, preamp 2, and what's called the IPO setting. So if you look right here, you'll see this little thing that says IPO. That is the standard uh, receive gain with just normal, uh, normal filtering and so forth. But if you go to your function FM list and you go over to where it says right here to where it says IPO, if you tap that once, it's going to turn on preamp number one, and you'll see preamp number one turn on here. Now, preamp number one is going to give us about 10 dB, which is about 1.67 S units. Now, if you tap it again, you'll get about 3 S units higher. So that's that. We're going to return that back to IPO. So what you want to do is, if you have a signal that's too strong, you always want to make sure that when you turn on the attenuator, which is right here, the ATT, you always want to make sure that that's set to IPO. Because if you turn, if you have this set to preamp 2 and you turn on the attenuator, it's not really doing you any good because you've got that, that 20 dB gain right there. So we want to make sure that the IPO setting is always on IPO. So when I turn on the attenuator, that's going to drop our uh, audio level about 12 dB. So let's bring this station in here. Kilo Uniform 4, Alpha Fox, drop 59. I'm going to turn on the attenuator, and let's watch what happens to the signal here. The, Copy the 59. There's actually a stronger signal over here. So see this guy's at an S9? When I turn on that attenuator, that's going to drop. See it dropped about two S units. See, he's he's barely peaking seven right now. See he's peaking about eight without the attenuator. But when I turn on the attenuator, notice the right there the ATT comes on and his signal drops about two S units. Attenuator off. Now we're back up to about S8. When I turn on the attenuator, it's going to drop his signal down to about S6, S5, right in there. So roughly, it's about a it's about a 12 dB uh, drop, which is roughly about two S units. So that's how the attenuator works. Now let's go back and look. Uh, I'm going to leave the attenuator off, and let's go back to that other station. Okay. Now, the IPO is the normal gain, uh, normal, normal uh, receive filtering and so forth, but when I turn on the preamp, watch what happens. Right here? Let's, let's get the signal back. Well, it's 2.30 here, and it's about 60-some degrees and cloudy. Okay, well... Well, I hope your weekend's going well, and it's great to hear about the about a three... We've got two signals going on here, that's why we got different... Here we go. Let me go back to IPO. Okay. Alpha I'm going to turn on preamp one. That's kilo, kilo seven, kilo alpha uniform. Kilo see how see how he went up. He went from a five to about a seven. And can I get a report from you? Now I just took him up another amp two. That's IPO. No gain. Did you say you needed my call sign one more time? 
10, 10 dB, 1.67 S units with amp on. So you see what's happening here? He's going all the way up into the red, but if I turn off and go back to IPO, no gain. He's good. He's down around three. Turn it on once. It's going to take it up to about five, three to five. It's about 1.6. It's hard to tell because we got voice peak swinging here, and there's uh, amp two, which is 20 dB, which is roughly about three, three S units. So that's how that works. The IPO, IPO uh, is essentially just normal filtering on your receive uh, uh, bandpass attenuation. Amp 1 is going to increase it by 10 dB, which is roughly about 1.6 S units. Amp 2 will take us up about uh, uh, 20 dB, which is about 3.1, 3.2 S units approximately. Now I'm going to go back to IPO and watch what happens when I turn on the attenuator now. Let's see. See how he drops out? Let's go back to the 450 station. He's really powerful. He may be gone. Turn on the attenuator again. Nothing going on there. Let's go back down here. Roger, Fred. Um, Echo Alpha 5, Juliet Gulf, Quebec. This is Kilo Mike. Attenuator on. Echo Alpha. Um, very good talking to See you. See how it drops Over. out. The band may have just dropped out on me here. Okay, well, that's, uh, let's see if there's anybody else talking. Looks like the band just, just went up, just dropped. This is Juliet, Gulf, Quebec. This is Kilo Mike 4, Foxtrot, Echo Alpha 73, QRZ. See how I turned it off? He's calling. We'll see if we can get this guy. I don't know if we can get this guy or not. Uh, hotel, Bravo, Bravo. Attenuator off. Uh, that See how the attenuator on. India 7, over. See the difference. All right, we'll see if we can get this guy. Get, give him a call real quick. Running uh, 50 watts. Tuner's off. We'll see. This is Kilo Mike 4, Foxtrot Echo Alpha, QRZ. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. This is Kilo Mike 4, Foxtrot Echo Alpha, over. Yeah, very good. Copy that. Kilo, uh, QR, is that with your call sign? Uh, Kilo Mike 4, Foxtrot Echo Alpha, KM4 FEA, over. FEA. All right, very good. Uh, Kilo Mike uh, 4, Foxtrot Echo Alpha from Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Name is Steve, Sierra Tango Echo, Victor Echo, QTH, Abilene, Texas. I've got you about 5-5. Five, five. Roger that, Steve. I got you at about 5-5. Five, five. Peaked at 5-7 a couple times there. Uh, name here is Josh in North Carolina, running an FTDX 101D, 200 watts, and a two-element hex beam. Over. Yeah, very good, very good. You're doing a good job in Abilene. Got a real good, good signal, sounding good. Uh, station is doing good. I'll let you get back to your calls there. Appreciate you coming back to me and uh, I'll uh, send you a link. I'm doing a training video and I got you on here. You sound great. So, uh, 73 to you. Thank you, Steve. Very good. Uh, you have a wonderful day in the Lone Star State there, Steve. Uh, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. This is Kilo Mike 4, Foxtrot Echo Alpha 73. QRZ. So he's working, so we got a call. So that's, that's our contacts for today. Kilo Mike 4, Foxtrot. Echo Alpha. Okay, 73.